Hi everyone, this is Jai Shri, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli. We continue with the lecture series. Today we discuss upon um, on the fundamentals uh, uh, of uh, electrical circuits. Circuit fundamentals we discuss. Then um, what is branch, what is node, uh, uh, then uh, what are the different types of circuits uh, we discuss. Okay. So before starting that, so what is load? Load, na na. What do you mean by load? So here, if you look at uh, all the consumers, that is, um, we are consumers. We are consuming electricity. So in our home, a uh, lot of electrical appliances are consuming electricity. It works on electricity. Those appliances we call it as load. Right. So for example, fan, light. Uh, refrigerator, TV, television, all are uh, working under electricity. So these are concerned, uh, we call it as load. Okay. So it is an any electrical load on a circuit that does work. Okay. Yeah, so in uh, look into this picture, the first is circuit. So this is a circuit. In this circuit, the left side, there is a source. So V is represents the source. Then on the right corner, it is V out. So out is nothing but the load. RL represents a load resistance. Usually we take uh, the power load power from across a load resistance. Okay. So load is nothing but power consumed. We call it as a load. Okay. Uh, see, in look into this picture. A huge elephant is. Uh, uh, standing on a, on a small uh, refrigerator. So this thing we call it as a load, heavy load. Okay. So coming to circuits. So source, what is source? A voltage or a current uh, source which delivers electrical energy, we call it as source. Then what is sink in an element which consumes electricity, we call it as a sink. Then what is a circuit? It consists of both the source and sink connected with some wires forming a closed loop. So loop is nothing but a closed circuit, we call it as a loop or mesh, right? Closed circuit, we call it as a loop, right? So what is a node junction point? Uh, of uh, two to three elements in a circuit, we call it as a node. So circuit element uh, between two nodes, we call it as a branch. Closed path, we call it as a loop. Okay. So look into this picture. Is it working? Would this work? See, there is a battery. Then there is a lamp. There is a wire connecting between the battery, one terminal and a lamp, one terminal of a lamp. They're definitely, this won't work. So look into this picture. So here one terminal of a lamp is connected to one side of the battery. Then second terminal of the battery is connected to the lamp. So this works because it is a closed circuit. The current flows between battery and the lamp. So it works. Right. Then we discuss upon uh, two types of circuits. One is a series circuit. Second one is parallel circuit. Look into this first picture. So there are three lamps connected in series. So here, this type of circuit, we call it as a series circuit. Uh, one disadvantage is if one lamp goes out, if one lamp is get disconnected from the circuit, means the entire circuit gets broken. Other two lamps also gets off, come to off condition. So there is a main drawback of um, a series circuit. So in parallel circuit, look into the second picture. This is a parallel circuit. Here all the lamps are connected on either side of the battery, right? I mean, in this type of circuit, we call it as a parallel circuit. Uh, the main advantage is if one light goes off, then the remaining two lights are still in working condition. It glows and gives light. So there is a main advantage of this parallel connection. Right. So there are, there are two types of circuit. I already told on a series circuit. Example is uh, there is serial light, Christian lamps, serial light are uh, in series circuit, in parallel circuit, in mostly used in electrical vehicles. Right. 
So how to calculate resistors if it is connected in series? The total resistance equal resistance equals sum of all resistances. So R total equals R one plus R two plus R three. So like that, the number of resistance connected in series means we can directly add and calculate the equivalent resistance. Then the second uh, comes to second one is so resistance connected in parallel. So here the formula is one uh, by R total equals one by R one plus one by R. The that is the sum of reciprocals of the resistances connected in the circuit. So that is the equivalent resistance of a parallel circuit. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Any doubts? Uh, give it in the comment box.